The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Uh, I thank the rank, um, the chairman, uh, and I thank you for yielding the time. Uh, the HAMP Termination Act, which is the legislation before us today, ends what I believe to be a failure of a government program. Not just a failure to help those three to four million uh, homeowners that the Treasury originally set out to assist, and they've fallen well short of that. Just over 500,000 mortgage modifications have taken place in the two years it's been in existence. Not only has it been a failure in terms of the metrics they set up to achieve the goal, it's been a failure for the very people who enter into the program and yet are pushed out. Now, understand this government program. I, I want my colleagues to understand what this program does. The HAMP program, the Home Affordable Mortgage Program, brings folks in who are having trouble making their mortgage payments. They bring folks into the, and they will give them a verbal modification for their mortgage. And what has happened and this is what my constituents tell me, this is what the hard facts and the data indicate as well, is that a majority of those folks that enter into this program are actively harmed by this federal program. Actively harmed. They're left materially worse off. And let me quote from the Special Inspector General for TARP, Mr. Neil Borofsky, who is a very independent-minded individual. He says, People who apply for modifications via HAMP sometimes end up unnecessarily depleting their dwindling savings in an ultimately futile effort to obtain the sustainable relief promised by the program guidelines. Others who have somehow found ways to continue to make their mortgage payments have been drawn into failed trial modifications that have left, more, have, um, have left them with more principal outstanding on their loans less home equity or a position further underwater, and worse credit scores. Perhaps worst of all, even in circumstances where they never miss a payment, they may face back payments, penalties, and even late fees that suddenly become due on their modified mortgages that they are unable to pay, thus resulting in the further loss of their, uh, the, the very loss of their home that HAMP is meant to prevent. Treasuries claim that every single person who participates in HAMP gets, quote, a significant benefit, end quote, is either hopelessly out of touch or a cynical attempt to define failure as success. Those are the words of the Special Inspector General designated to oversee this program and to give us and report to Congress and the public on the success or failures of federal programs and ways to fix them. Now, sadly, in the two years of, uh, of this program and over a year and a half of criticism of this program, the Treasury has refused to fix it. My colleagues on the other side of the aisle have not offered legislation to fix it when they were in the majority. And so we're left with what is required today is to root out this federal program that spends our taxpayer dollars, yet hurts more people than it helps. One of my constituents from Hickory said, we've been in the HAMP program since February of 2010 and still have no answer. We're being charged late fees, and, we're, and we were reported to the Credit Bureau. We've been, in, uh, we've been in underwater since April and on trial payments for six months, which was only supposed to only be three months. We've not yet received an answer. This is a federal program. If the private sector were to do that, were doing this, there would be lawsuits. If the private sector were doing that, my friends on the other side of, the colleague, uh, of, of Congress in particular would be filing legislation to make sure they were unable to do that. Instead, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle in this administration are defending a failed program. And they refuse to reform it. They refuse to change it. They refuse to improve it. They refuse to do anything to it except defend it. And I believe, indeed, as the Special Inspector General said, 
it may be a cynical attempt to define failure as success. So I ask my colleagues to vote for this legislation and remove this costly, ineffective, and painful government program.